Good afternoon. I was wondering if you had a moment. All right, so what's this? Oh, this is a pamphlet which details the... Is, this a, is this a Jesus thing? No, this is a political thing, actually. Oh. You're not an assassin? You're not inviting me to Mordor or some shit? Excuse me? Why are you doing this? Well, um, I was interested in helping out with the campaign because, um, I... Look, man, I don't know. My parents know the candidate. They asked me to canvas the neighborhood. They're giving me 50 bucks doing this on my day off, so... Yeah. All right. Uh, sir? Hey. Are you all right? Pretty fucking lame inciting incident. Okay, well, if you're still undecided about who you're gonna vote for, I'm just gonna leave that here. And, uh, you can look at it in your own time. Of all the people in the world, and Aiden had to choose you. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are you talking about? I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry. Sometime in this movie, I'm gonna die. Wait, during this movie? Yeah, we're in a movie right now, don't you know? Because you are. We both are. And I'm gonna die in it. Okay, well, putting the whole movie thing aside for a sec, how do you know you're gonna die? Because it said so at the beginning. I mean, it's probably the title of the damn thing. Aiden's just started writing when he was bored, and then he didn't start with any other details other than Dave dies in this movie. And that's basically just a ripoff of John dies at the end. Hey, do you... do you live here alone? Yeah, why? Because it sounds like you could use somebody to talk to. Why, because I sound crazy? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, you do sound crazy. You're talking about uh, being in a movie, and, and you're all paranoid about, you know, you're gonna die. It's, you need to talk to somebody about this, man. I have you. I mean, that's why you're here. It's not curiosity. You're here because Aiden wants us to have a conversation before he kills me. That's why you're here. Come on, dude. You know that's not true. Okay. Then leave. What? Prove me wrong. Just, just leave this room. You know, what kind of guy would I be if I left right now? I mean, god damn it, you see? Okay, so then wh what does this all mean? Wh why write this? Why shoot it? Why do you die at the end? I don't know. I didn't even exist before a few fucking minutes ago. You ask me if I live alone, I say I guess, but if it happens that a trio of kids come into the kitchen, it's all, oh, I guess Dave was actually a father and didn't tell who's it's because who gives a shit? Okay, but if you're a character in this script, how do you know so much about it? How do you know you're gonna die? Because the writer made me say it. I didn't even know until I said it, and then after I said it, it was like, a fact. Unless it gets deleted, like your monologue about elephants did. Yeah, but I never said anything about elephants. Exactly. Okay, so let's pretend you're right. There's no guarantee that you're gonna die. I mean, just because the writer said that you would die, it doesn't mean he can't change his mind halfway through. Get inspired. Write something different. I mean, just because you start with an idea doesn't mean you're married to it, right? I mean, things evolve. So don't stress out about it, man. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Just because you start with an idea doesn't mean you have to follow through with it. I mean, it says in the script that I die, but I don't have to die. I mean, there's still time to change things up or, or reimagine the story. Exactly, exactly. I feel a lot better about this. Thanks, man. Still one thing that bugs me, though. What? I mean, if I don't die in this movie, then 
what's this movie even about? 